when it comes right down to it, nuclear energy is vital for the survival of life on Earth. It's the energy that powers the sun and gives us the heat and light we need to thrive. For billions of years, nuclear energy has been produced naturally in every star in the universe. Over the last century, humans have also learned how to generate it, creating some tough questions for society along the way. Nuclear energy gets its name because it involves the central part, or nucleus, of an atom. Scientists discovered that when changes happen to the structure of the nucleus, energy is released. There are two ways this can happen. The first is a process called fission. During fission, the nucleus of an atom splits into two or more parts. The total weight, or mass, of these parts is less than the weight of the original atom. Lost mass gets released as energy. In the other process known as fusion, energy is released when the nuclei of at least two atoms join together. This is how the sun gets its power. Scientists have found a way to create fusion reactions on Earth, and we now regularly use fission in several ways. We've built power plants that produce nuclear energy with machines called nuclear reactors. These reactors provide electricity for about 16% of the world. Nuclear energy is also used in medicine to help scientists diagnose and treat disease. But along with these advantages come dangers of staggering proportions. If nuclear reactions are not controlled, a tremendous amount of energy is released in the form of an explosion. These explosions produce radiation, which harms the cells of the body, causing sickness and even death. This is what happens with nuclear weapons, such as atomic and hydrogen bombs. If properly controlled, nuclear energy has the potential of becoming the most efficient type of energy in the world. Many people believe it will power us into the future when the Earth's other fuels become scarce. But some are concerned about the dangers and would like to see an end to all production of this kind of energy. It's a debate that is sure to continue well into the 21st century.